CBS 2 is celebrating Black History Month. It is one of the most extensive collections of black literature and poetry in the country. And for a long time, you could only see it in Chicago. Now that collection is about to become more accessible than ever, thanks to a big grant and the work of some dedicated librarians. From the monumental moments to the routine day-to-day -day existence of a celebrated poet. I like this letter from Langston Hughes. He kind of lays out his schedule. Yeah. You get a glimpse into his personal life here. Yes. A treasure trove of African-American history largely on display in the Chicago library. And that's the great thing about both letters and diaries right. as well. Soon will be accessible to many more people around the world. I like to say that this collection is a city asset and a national treasure. The Vivian G. Harsh Research Collection is the largest collection of African American history and literature in the Midwest. Now, thanks to a $2 million grant from the Mellon Foundation to the Chicago Public Library, nearly 300,000 pieces from the Harsh Collection and beyond will be digitized. The largest ever grant for our archives division. We saw workers taking on that enormous and painstaking task at the home of the Harsh Collection, the Woodson Library at 95th and Halsted. Chris Brown is Chicago's library commissioner. We have researchers from all over the world that visit Chicago to use this collection. Uh, we want to make it as accessible as possible. Accessible eventually with a few clicks on the keyboard. The Vivian G. Harsh Collection is named for Chicago's first black director of a branch library. She built the foundation for what we see today. Going around the country, getting materials that really spoke to the African American experience, um, especially during a time when you, you couldn't just go on Amazon. Harsh, who died in 1960, had high standards, says Raquel Flores Clemens. She had a beautiful handwriting. Who oversees the collection. Some say she was stern and she really wanted folks to walk into the library and respect the space and respect it as this place of intellectual curiosity and she, she cultivated that space. But she also made it very accessible to the public. She made it very accessible to anyone from any socioeconomic status to learn more about themselves. Why is it important to do this? It's important because black people and black history is important. Everyone has a history, everyone has a story, everything and everyone has a history and a story. The library workers will digitize what amounts to 1,600 linear feet expected to be finished in three years.